palaces and gardens. Within the city, there were many palaces, some belonging to the Caesars and others to very rich landowners. These palaces were built of massive brickwork, overlaid with marble and decorated with gilded bronze. Inside many of the great halls, the walls were painted with scenes of architecture and open air scenes. It gave the appearance of a view of the country or the seaside. Indoors and also in the fine gardens, there were statues of the ancestors of the family and some of the gods and heroes of Roman history. They were all painted very carefully in lifelike colours. Many of them had been taken from Greece because the Romans thought that Greek art was better than their own. Rich men were very proud of their interests in the arts. They collected statues and bronze figures and employed the best painters to decorate their houses. Landscape gardeners arranged the grounds as beautifully as possible in the hilly slopes of Rome. Often, the owner would invite writers and poets to dine with him and his other guests so that they could enjoy the newest works of literature. But there were also people who had no care for art and bought fine things just to be able to show how fashionable they were. They gave noisy parties with singers and dancers from the theatres and circus and there was a great deal of drunkenness. But no one worried very much, because the Romans liked to enjoy themselves in a noisy way. And most of them preferred fine food and drinks to all the books in the world. <laughs>